Hi, Dr. Shook here. In this video, I want to talk to you about a rather new concept that is really revolutionizing the way that we look at autoimmune thyroid conditions. So there's a concept and there's, there's something called molecular mimicry. Okay, molecular mimicry is where, in our case, something that is that, that becomes present in the body looks a lot like on a molecular level, so looking at the molecule or the shape of uh, the of the the proteins or anything in your body, okay, any kind of food in particular, and some of your own tissues, okay. So molecular, they're similar, they mimic one another, so they look close enough that the body can't distinguish them as being something that is different, okay. That's the key key concept. So what they've discovered, and this is through some fantastic research that uh, Dr. Datis Karazian has been involved in, and he's been one of my instructors and just a fantastic person that has provided so much information and research and dedicated his time uh, to furthering our knowledge on autoimmune conditions and thyroid conditions and brain conditions that, you know, we really all owe a lot to him because he is really he and some other fantastic doctors are working together and pioneering some information that really is changing the way that we approach autoimmune conditions as a whole. But Datis did, has done some amazing work, and in particular, he they they did um, they did this thing where they looked for molecular mimicry in in the body, and in particular, they looked at um, 200 foods, and they they discovered that of these foods, they had at the time at this time that there were about 40 foods that they found if you had basically if your immune system was sensitive to those foods and it would and it would initiate an immune response to attack and destroy those foods it saw those foods as foreign okay you had a sensitivity to them that those foods were close enough on a molecular level to tissues or enzymes involved in your thyroid that you could, you could, your immune system could mistakenly attack your own tissues because of exposure to those foods. Okay, so let me just repeat that. Foods that you eat can look close enough on a level of the molecule to your own tissues, so similar as far as the shape of the molecule, that if your immune system becomes sensitive to the foods and, they, and your, your immune system launches an immune response against those foods, those same cells that are circulating and trying to find the molecules of the food that you ate, if they come across your thyroid tissue or 5-deiodinase, which is an enzyme that converts thyroid hormone, if, it, if it, you're, you're, those, those immune cells come across your thyroid, those enzymes, there's, there's T4, T3, and also uh, there's one other 5-deiodinase, the TSH receptor. So it's something on the outside of the cell in the thyroid. Just know this it will tag, your immune system will mark those, those parts or, or, or uh, enzymes that are involved in thyroid function, it will mark those as being foreign as if it were one of those foods that you ate. Then what happens is your, your immune system now thinks that that thyroid tissue is actually some of that food that you ate, which your immune system thinks is foreign. It's a foreign substance. And you launch an immune attack every time you consume that food, not only against the food, but also against your thyroid. And therefore, that's a, it, it creates an autoimmune thyroid condition. Listen, this is, this is cutting edge immunology here. I mean, these guys are, are Datis and some of the doctors that, that are doing this work with him. I mean, this is, this is truly amazing, amazing information. So what I want you to know is we have a panel now. We have an immune system blood panel that we can run that looks at 200 different foods to see if you react to them. If you do, then we've got to get those foods out of your diet if you have Hashimoto's because what that means is they can molecularly mimic those thyroid tissues. We don't want those because that will that will create an immune response and that could, if, if you're not already attacking those tissues, that could put you at risk for attacking those tissues in the future. And if we run the immune panel, that's another panel through Cyrex, and we identify that yes, you do have an autoimmune attack to those tissues, then we follow up with this 200 food panel and we discover that you're attacking some of those foods that, that will Cross re that will cross-react due to molecular mimicry, then, then we've got to get those out of your diet.
because you've got to calm down the immune system, stop it from attacking the tissues, and you do that by one of the ways is removing the triggers. So I hope this makes sense on molecular mimicry. It's really cutting edge science and some things that I think are going to change the way that we manage the thyroid. Basically what it comes down to is we can, we can dial in and fine tune a diet for you. And that's, that's critical because it's, the food triggers are so huge with Hashimoto's. So if you have any questions, let me know. I appreciate you taking time from your day to learn more about your health and what you might be able to do to help yourself or someone that you know or love. Thanks.